Good morning, lovely people, and welcome back to my channel. So, <clears throat> I have here today with me a reading journal that is not a reading journal for reading, but it's actually to put quotes that I love from books that I have read. Yes, because the reading journals that I have do not have enough space for quotes. Like, can you imagine? Can you imagine like having to put all the lovely quotes that you really want to put there? It's not going to work, right? I have two reading journals and they are the same. So. <laughs> this one is even worse. So I decided to do a notebook that I would be able to put a few of the quotes that I loved or would love from the books that I read. So I is just a plain notebook. And at the front, they were just written ideas, and I put some mushy deep, and I stuck some very tiny stickers that says reading. I'm not sure if you can see it. Right here. Excuse me. So I stuck some mushy deep here, and it's only after. That I wrote this, I realized that I couldn't put the check up piece of washi tape on top, so I opted for a, a very thin one. So I printed this from Pinterest, and most of my all of my pictures that I'm going to show you here are from Pinterest. And I put a quote here from Taylor Jenkins Read Daisy Jones and the Six. I have absolutely no interest in being somebody else muse. I am not a muse, I am somebody. And I absolutely love this, love this, love how the girl is in a chart, love it. So, I also put here to the girl who reads by flashlight, who sees dragons in the clouds, who feels most alive in worlds that never were, who knows magic were real, who dreams this is for you. And I put my name here, and when I started this, and I also put another quote, we are all born so beautiful, the greatest tragedy is being convinced we are not. And I saw that Chloe had this in her reading journal setup, and I love it. And I said that I'm going to use it. Yay! And then, of course, I started this around the Christmas season, which is now. So I decided that this, I love it. This is from Dr. Seuss. This, I need to fix it because it didn't get printed out. So you can find magic wherever you look. Sit back, relax. All you need is a book. And I got this from Pinterest, and this is at British Book Art. And this is going to be my monthly reading tracker for 2022. If I need space, I would probably just... I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but I'm going to see how it works. I love it. I love it. I love the fox. I love the rabbit. I love this. I just love everything about it. Love. And I embellish it with some washi tape. Here we have another one. I, I couldn't pass this by when I saw Seasons reading. And we are in the season right now. And I ran out of this washi tape. So I... Yes. And this one says, You are never alone when lost in the magic of book. And this is by Marie Lou. Love it. Love it. And here we have more quotes. And I decided I want to put some quotes at the beginning because I'm definitely going to be putting quotes from books. So, to experience somebody's art is to be invited into a silent conversation they are having with themselves. And this is, I saw Chloe use this as well. So, yes. And this one as well, she did from Little Prince. So, I embellished it. And I use another Pinterest print out. It's, this one says, with freedom, books, flowers, and the moon. Who, who could say no? Be happy. And this is by Oscar. Well, more washi tape again. Loving it. And this one says, It's the time you spent on your rose that makes your rose so important. People have forgotten this truth, but you mustn't forget it. You become responsible forever for what you have deemed. You're responsible for your rose. And this is from The Little Prince. And this one here is also from The Little Prince. And it says, If someone loves a flower of which just one example exists among all the millions and millions of stars, that's enough to make him happy when he looks at the stars. He tells himself, himself, my flower's up there somewhere. But if the sheep eats the flower, then for him, it's as if it's suddenly all the stars went out. And this is from The Little Prince. I'm going to read that book again and look at that movie. 
and this is just an example of how I'm going to be setting up my code speed. So here I have the book Fever by Lauren De Stefano that I read a while ago. So I'm going to start off by putting in some quotes and statements that I liked in the book here. Love that book. And then I have the story of Tracy Beaker. Oh my gosh. I'm not putting anything I did. Make do men dwell in Apple. Well, I'm going to read that book, this book for the holidays. But there's so many quotes from this book and statements that Tracy Beaker made that I'm gonna have fun with this. So I have this one and I have others that I want to stick in that I already read. I am Malala, Samantha the Stars, Valiant, Train to Dreamer, Spell from Twinkle with Love, Nora Roberts, Barbara Delinsky. And I have other print that I'm going to add to this book as I go along. I didn't want to crowd it up just yet, but these are some that I want to put in there. Love this. Oh, I didn't get her boots. I <laughs> feel so, like literally everything is upside down. Like, what is wrong with my organization? What was wrong with my organization? have this one here as well this one let me see if i turn it like this if it's gonna be all messed again so yeah love these and i got them i actually got them on princess on, on pinterest i almost said princess love it and the printing quality is not so good at all but i'm gonna use it love this one all the readings she had done had given her a view of life that I'd never seen. And this is by Roald Dahl from Matilda. I'm going to read that book as well again. It's on one of the 100 lists from one of the reading journals that I have. So yeah. I am very happy to have shared this with you. And I thank you for viewing. Happy holidays. I will see you next time. Bye.